Hello friends, today let's solve the maximum sum of three non-overlapping subarrays. In a given array numbers of positive integers, find three non-overlapping subarrays with maximum sum. Each subarray will be of size k, and we want to maximize the sum of all three times k entries. Return the result at the list of index representing the starting position of each interval, zero in next. If there are multiple answers, return the lexicographically smallest one. So basically we have a brute force solution that we just try use three for loop to get the sum of any three non-overlapping subarrays and uh, try to get a global maximum sum. But we can do better. Actually, we can just uh, fix the middle subarray. And uh, we just need to get the left maximum subarray sum and uh, the right maximum subarray sum. And we can catch the maximum sum of uh, the left index and the right maximum subarray sum index use two array. Uh, what do I mean? Actually, we can fix the middle subarray. Like uh, if we use the Q6 as the middle subarray, then we will try to find the maximum subarray size of K uh, on its left. And we get this one three a uh, one two, and we try to find the maximum subarray on its right, and we get this seven five. So now we get uh, a candidate uh, sum, and when we fix this six seven, we also need to get the left maximum subarray sum, which is is also one two. And on its right, we will get this five one. So we can basically to uh, cache the starting index of the maximum subarray uh, ending index i. What does that mean? For the index 1, 2, we should have the same maximum subarray index, which is the 1, 2. And this is 2, 1. We have... Uh, these two subarray have the same sum, and we will return the lexicographically smallest one. So we will, they should return the same subarray, which will be this one two. So for every index, we will catch the left maximum subarray starting index, and uh, also we use another array to catch the maximum. A subarray starting index. Mm. But uh, at first, uh, we also need to know the sum of each subarray. So the first question is how many subarrays? If the length of this array is 8 and the k is 2, so we will have 8 minus 2 plus 1 subarray. So then we will use the prefix sum to get uh, the sum of each subarray. Uh, just like we try to get the sum, use a fixed window size k. And uh, we try to accumulate this 1 plus 2. And then we iterate. We, we are at the index 2. And we find currently the window size is 3. It is larger than the k. So we will minus this uh, element, which is out of the window. So the current window is 2, 1. So we get this sum. And we try to add this 2. And we need to minus this 2. Uh, that means we maintain the fixed window size of k. And we save each sum of the subarray in the DP array. So the size of the DP array should be an n is length minus k plus 1. 
And uh, as I mentioned before, we also need to cache the starting index of uh, maximum subarray sum in a left array and the right array. They should be the same size as the DP because we know we have n subarray and we save the starting index. So they should be n starting index. All of these three operations should be the time complexity, big O n. And the, the finally, which is the main part that we iterate the DP array. Actually, we will try to fix the middle subarray. So one question, what is the scope of the middle subarray? Actually, for this example, the a minimum index of the middle subarray should at least be two, because uh, this is the middle subarray. So there should be a left subarray, and the size should at least be this k. So we should left k elements on its left, which is two. So the starting index should at least be k, which is zero, one, two in this example. The same idea, the largest starting index should be n minus k because we should left k elements on its right. And we cannot start at here because if we start at here, this, uh, these two subarray will have uh, overlapping. So we should at least be this six. So this subarray will be six, seven and uh, the right subarray will be five one. So what is the starting index here? It should be n minus k minus one. So that should be the max one. So that's the thing we need to notice in the uh, last part. And then we try to get the left i minus k because there should be k elements. And uh, the right also needed to plus k because there is k elements in current uh, starting index i and we just uh, compare these three uh, sum with the result so let's write the code we first get a length which will be the number star length and uh, the we need to know the number of the subarray. There should be length minus k plus one, and we need the DP array to cache all the subarray sums. The size will be n, and then we need a sum variable. Initially, it will be zero, and we just iterate these numbers array, and the sum to the plus a current number, a current element. And once this i is greater or equal than k, we know this window is larger than the k because when the i equal to 2, which means we currently have the elements index 0, index 1, index 2. And the, there, there, is, uh, there are three elements. We only need two elements. So we need to minus the elements out of the window. So minus i minus k i is 2 k also 2 okay so it's minus 0 right and once this i is uh, greater or equal than 1 which is k minus 1 we know the dp i minus k plus 1 should be the sum we should uh, save this subarray sum into the dp array you see when the i is greater or equal than 1 we should save that uh, to the dp and the first it will be zero so one minus two plus one exact zero okay then we need the left array the size will be n and uh, the right array the size should also be n and we need a max index start from zero and we iterate uh, all the separate sums so once the dpi is greater than the dp max index, 
we should update the max index to the i because we also need to return the lexicographically smallest one so only when the dpi is greater than the dp max index we update this max index so left i will be max index the same idea we go from right i greater or equal than zero i minus minus so the first the max index will be the n minus one right and once the dp i is uh it should be greater or equal because i if they have the same value i has the smaller index so it's greater or equal than max index we update the max index equal to i and the right i will be the max index so this is two part so finally we will try to get our result size will be three now the first we will initial it to negative one because that means when we first submit a three value um valid non-overlapping subarrays we will try to put that into result array and then we compare with other valid three non-overlapping subarrays so as i said before the starting index of the middle subarray should be k and i will less than n minus k i plus plus because we should uh, left two uh, k elements on its left and the two elements on its right so if result zero equal to negative one that means we haven't assigned any element to the result before or the dp result zero plus dp result one plus dp result two is less than dp uh that will be left i mi minus k plus dp i plus dp right i plus k because they also have the k elements we should update zero to the mm, left i minus k the result one will be i the result two will be right i plus k so finally just return this result Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.